How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble. So first things first, we need to talk about the number of subscribers. So I have finally achieved 4,000 subscribers and I cannot achieve that without you guys. Okay, you guys are the ones subscribing and I would like to thank all of you for the support. I will continue to work hard. I will not rest on my laurels. Continue to come up with new and better content, better quality video, better audio quality, better video quality, better editing, so and so forth. I will continue to come up with new content for you guys all right so today we are going to be looking at a highly requested player which i am not sure why but i see a lot of people asking for him and that is lee dong gook he's a korean guy so a lot of you are asking for lp lee dong gook so i have decided to take a look at him who knows he might be a hidden gem so let's look at his stats he is 187 cm 83 kg which is very good for an asian guy if you think about it how many 187 asian guys do you see around so he is an absolute target man in our context and even if you put him against westerners i think he will be able to look after himself relatively well in terms of strength as well he's got good strength to him 85 strength good stamina pace is obviously not his strength he's got only 70 sprint which is very very slow by today's standard like very 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 slow 79 acceleration jump is decent 84 agility is also not fantastic 80 balance is low as well i'm not sure how well he can stay up on his feet dribbling and ball control are not that good quite bad in fact his crossing is nothing to shout about short passing finishing is at least decent 86 short power is good 91 at least his heading is good so i'm thinking he seemed to be an area sort of player long shot is 85 volley is 90 okay his positioning is not bad at least his position is good 88 i'm expecting him to be getting into a lot of heading positions 86 vision is not important but reaction is only 84 i am a little bit concerned by stats seem like he does not shout top tier okay traits why he's got a lot of styles go master target man that's important he's an area control that is definite uh dribble master tanker sniper crosser for some reason free kick master okay and acrobatic his work rate is at least good high low that is the best possible work rate for a striker high attacking work rate and low defending work rate the best possible combination that you can ask for he's got the one that i like power header and sniper for long shot he might really be the kind of striker that i like in terms of price he is currently 30 million average only 30, 21 million which means that he is considered a very very affordable option a plus five costs about 700 so it's not a very exorbitant kind of player okay now let's go into the in-game analysis and we will find out whether he is a hidden jet okay First things first, I have to admit, I am struggling to find anything good about Lee Dong Gook, okay? Um, if I have to nitpick, okay, the first strength is obviously his headers. Now, his headers, because of his high heading stats, his power header trait, he is a definite good header. As long as he can get his head to the ball, definitely he is going to score a header, okay? But the problem is getting his head to the ball, which I will elaborate. The next strength is probably his strength. He can put himself about quite well. He can stand up to tackles. You don't get bullied that much in the opposition's pitch. So that is the only other strength that I can think of. He's got plenty of weakness to be honest, like a lot of weakness. The first thing is he is very, very slow. 70 pace even with all your coaches, max level, growth point. It is not going to help him a lot. So you are not expecting him to outrun the last defender especially when you are coming out against teams with plus six plus seven defenders and they are not lousy plus six plus seven they have seen people with koshiaoni plus seven lp or something like that crazy defenders there's no way he can outrun that even if you're talking about defenders that are mid-tier high upgraded ones Lee Donggu is not going to outrun them by a lot so if you are a high true player good luck to you when you're using Lee Donggu and then the next thing is um his haters okay he has the exact same problems like Dola Saleh like Falcao they are fantastic hater of the ball okay don't get me wrong but the problem is they cannot get their head to the ball in the case for Dola Saleh and Falcao you can see that they are short maybe that's why they cannot outjump defenders like Hummels like Mertesacker but like PK but Lee Dong Gook is 187 which is pretty good for a striker and he almost exclusively does not win many haters and I find that the problem is that he seems to like 
to camp outside the box. So many times when my winger are sprinting down the wings, he will make a dash and then suddenly stop right at the edge of the box, waiting for the stars to come, waiting for God to smile at him. I don't know why. I don't find that urgency from him in wanting to get into the box. Okay, so that is a big, big problem. Of the six games that I played with him, he only scored one header. So that is very disappointing. He's also not exactly the most agile of player. Not as difficult to twist and turn as drop bar, but he is also pretty stiff. And that will become very significant if you are playing against good players when you have to try and twist and turn to protect the ball to shield the ball and he has problem doing that okay it is so difficult to control him overall i will rate him a 4 out of 10 and that is me being very very generous he is easily one of the worst player i've ever used there's nothing good about him honestly if you are a high true player you probably won't be able to see him outrun the defender if you are a crosser he can't get his head to the ball so there's really nothing much you can do with him the only way you can use him is if you are a very good player yourself and you can use him to somehow weave through the defense or if you can penetrate through the middle that sort of thing but if you come out against good players like very good players there's no way you can really pass your way through the defense you know their defense are all so tight and sometimes the best way is to cross the ball into the box and pray for the best and then you have Lee dong who is not gonna win any haters for you so that is a big big problem he is going to be the difference between you winning and losing and not in a good way okay normally when people say that it's like, oh he's the difference maker yes he is a difference maker but in a sense that he will help you to lose games in tight games whereby chances are at a premium when you try to cross to him for that Sometimes during the whole match, you get to cross only twice and then you cross to him and he loses the header. It is extremely frustrating. He will cost your team. So is he worth it? Definitely not. Not at any price. Not at 30 million. Not at 2 million. No. If you are serious about winning your game, I would say go for other strikers. Lee Dong Gook is out. I'm not sure why so many people are requesting for him. But yeah, my verdict is that I will never use Lee Dong Gook. Okay, and with that, I would like to end this review. Hope you guys find this helpful. Don't ever use Lee Dong Gook, alright? And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more review videos. We are now away from the legends, back to normal players. But who knows, we got World Legends coming, so maybe I'll review the World Legends. Anyways, subscribe to my channel for more FO3 content. Let's work towards 5,000 subscribers, alright? Don't forget to drop by our Facebook page as well and give it a like. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you soon.